Welcome to Bible Talk Prophecy with my dad, Bishop Joe Fears. Greetings in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Joe Fears, and I'm here to do a study on the big picture concerning Bible prophecy and really looking at the rapture of the church, things that pertain to the rapture and things that pertains to the second coming. In my last video in episode two, I was talking about uh, the day of the Lord versus the day of Christ. In this episode three, I want to ask the question or answer the question that pertains to the thoughts in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. This is what it says. It says, but of that day, and our no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. Now, what was Jesus talking about? Was he talking about the rapture, or was he talking about the second coming? Or was he talking about both? Today, I want to answer that. <music> try to answer this particular question because in this verse that I read where it talks in Matthew 24 verse 36 where Jesus was talking to the disciples and a lot of people ask is this talking about the rapture because some people say a lot of people will say the rapture is imminent so that means it can happen any time and then other people confuse Matthew 24 for the rapture as well. They just lump it all together. And some people don't even believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. A lot of people believe that it's going to happen at the end when Jesus comes. And it can be quite confusion. But if we take our time and we go through the text, we will see what the text says. I always tell my students, let's use proper epistemology. And epistemology is not allowing your opinion or what you want to see in the text but allow justified truth to be revealed as the scripture reveals it to us. That's what epistemology is all about. But a lot of people, they find it hard to yield to the, the, the word itself because they have fears and inhibitions and things that they want to see in the text that sometimes is just not there. In this particular text right here, Jesus, we got to go back now to the beginning, because when the disciples came to Jesus, Jesus first, he was telling them about the temple and how it was going to be destroyed, and the, the disciples wanted to know, okay, they, they said, okay, tell us about this. In fact, they asked him three questions. The first question they asked him, when would these things be? That's what they asked him. At the very beginning of Matthew 24, I think it's the third verse or second or third verse, they ask him. Then they ask him, what will be the sign? And then finally, they said, when will the end of the age be? Now, it's clear that Jesus, if you look at the text, that when Jesus was talking about all the things that was going to come and all the stuff he said up until this particular verse, he was still basically answering their question. And what he was saying is that, look, guys, no one knows the precise time when the end will be. Nobody knows. That's why Jesus goes on further to tell them, just be ready. In fact, Jesus used a lot of scriptures. He used Matthew chapter 24, verse 44. He says, be ready. He used Matthew 25, verse 13. He says, be ready. Luke 12 and 40, he's telling them, be ready, be ready. But the thing of it is, the precise time is not being revealed. So that's why Jesus ultimately says, be ready. Just be ready. He, he knew they weren't going to be on the planet. But when he was saying them be ready, he's really speaking to all those that will be living during that time. Because he says this generation, the generation that began to see all these things transpire, that generation, that generation. And he told them, he says, now, we don't know the precise time. That's basically what all Jesus was saying. And he was referred to the end. The end. When these things were going to happen, he was answering their question. He says, nobody know when this is going to, when it's going to happen. But he did say, be ready. And to be ready really is for 
people like us that we're going to be living during the times that we're living in now. These are the end times. So now that we know that Jesus is talking about the second coming and not the rapture, now we still got to ask another question, the rapture. We got to find out now, can we know when the rapture is going to take place? Does any man know the day or hour of that? And I'm going to show you something. When Jesus was talking, he was talking twofold. He really was. Because Jesus knew about the rapture, without a doubt. He knew what was going to happen. Because later on, he gives Paul the revelation. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51, it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpets shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible, and this mortal must put on immortality. So here, the key phrase is, i show you a mystery. Christ didn't directly speak about the rapture. It was always indirect things that he was saying. That's why you got to rightly divide and you got to ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand when he's directly talking to the disciples and when he's talking to everybody. It takes the Holy Spirit to show you this. Now, we can see a parable that he gave in Matthew 25, verses 1 through 10. He talked about the ten virgins, five wise, five foolish. Five of them had oil in their lamps and five didn't. They were not ready. Like I said, he says, be ready. Just be ready for when the bridegroom come. Because he knew that at some point that he was going to come and close the doors. And then others would want to get in, but they would not get in. Because they have no oil. They don't have the spirit. Amen. So we can see that parable. We also see, and I think this is the clearest picture that Jesus knew. Even, even the one with the, the ten versions, some people don't believe it's talking about the rapture, but I but what it is talking about is being ready. So whether you want to make it the rapture or not, it's still talking about being ready. And then the biggest clue that Jesus knew about the rapture is it comes out of John chapter 14, verse 1 through 3. This is what the Lord said. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. I go to prepare a place for you. Now, Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen. And he says, and when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and, and it will take you to myself where I am that you may be also. In other words, Jesus says, I got to go away, guys. I know y'all going to see me leave. I got to go. But I'm going to come again and I'm going to bring you to where I'm at. And where is Jesus at right now? You got it. He's in his father's kingdom. So Jesus was letting them know then. He was letting us, he's really speaking to those that would be after him because he knew they would be dead. But he also made that statement so we could catch the vision. We could understand. Right now, we have to understand that Jesus was talking to them, but more than anything, he's talking to us because he knows that he's coming back. You get it? So he knew about the rapture. He knew that he was going to come. He knew because he told Paul. That's why Paul said, it's a mystery. The Lord didn't really break this out. He didn't really just shine this clear because his mission was to die. So it's a lot of things he didn't say, but he's chosen me to deliver some revelation to the church. He's chosen me. And that's what Paul did. He gave the mystery. That's why when people say, oh, the rapture, the rapture is not such thing. It's not in the Bible. The word rapture and all that. Well, it's in the Bible. The truth of it is, is that it's still a mystery. That's why there's so much bickering over it. You got to have insight, spiritual insight, to catch what Jesus has done. So, but 
is something even better. It's another scripture in Matthew chapter 26, verse 29. He says, I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now until the day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Again, Jesus knew that the body of Christ was going to be in the kingdom. That was the early church. He says, I got to come again. So he didn't come back then, back. So when is he coming? He got to be coming somewhere in the future. Now, is he coming in the second coming? Because in the second coming, Jesus is coming according to Zechariah. He's going to come and he's going to come as a man of war. And he's going to take over the planet. And he's going to plant his feet in Jerusalem on Mount Olivet. And he's going to have a great earthquake. So he's coming back to the planet. But in chapter 14 of John, verses 1 to 3, and in Matthew 26 and 29, he's telling them, in my Father's kingdom, we're going to do this. So, in his Father's kingdom, when he comes back, the earth is going to be his kingdom. His Father's kingdom is in heaven. So, he's very clear about this. So, the rap, so the rap we ask, do we know when? And the key is what Paul said. It's a mystery. We do not know the exact day. So it's the same. Whether you're looking at the rapture or whether you're looking at the second coming, we don't know because he didn't tell us. But he did give us some insight when it comes to the rapture. We can know the season. We can know the season. And I'm going to prove it in my next video. Stay tuned. That is all.